Okay, so you know the plan. But I thought it might be cool to take the 79 out for a ride before I tear it up and start getting ready for a coyote swap. I thought, hey, maybe you guys want to see what it's like to drive a pretty much 100% stock 2.3 liter naturally aspirated 79 Mustang Coupe. So let's go for a ride. All right, and since it is, you know, Halloween and all, uh, this guy's going to ride with us. So, all right, uh, let's see here. Well, getting in it is the same. Door handle opens, door opens up. Closing it, the same as my 86. The door panels are a little bit different. Cushion's slightly different, a little bit, uh, just attached differently, right? And uh, let's see here, let me help if I get my keys. What up, Slick? All right. Always freaks people out whenever you cruise around with a skeleton in you. <laughs> All right. Let's get the seatbelts on here. Man. One thing is for sure the seatbelts. Seatbelts are in better shape than my 86. In fact, they uh still feels really good. Like it still uh, closes. Retracts. No tears and rips. It's pretty rad. Okay. Huh, man, it's okay. So right off the bat, this is manual steering, manual, uh, manual steering, manual brakes, and just so you know, this is a bad idea, cruise. This we're gonna just take this down the street and back. But this thing is missing a rag joint right now. We are rolling on cage. So this is dangerous. Don't do this, guys. You shouldn't do this. But we're just gonna go for a quick little, quick little cruise. Okay, starts right up. Man, first thing is first. If you're used to a heavy, like a race style clutch, this thing feels like it doesn't even exist. It's like, wee, wee. Seriously, and that throw. Oh my gosh, look at the throw. Look. The pedal movement is like a mile. <laughs> look at that, it's like, whoa. There's no really feeling, it's just like a big spongy. It feels hydraulic, it feels weird. All right. So this manual is odd. Um, the reverse is up to the left, so you gotta kind of go up and over like that, find your notch. Big, big throw, right? Okay, we're moving. Manual steering, even when, the, when it stops, it's not easy. All right, and we're cruising, right? That's flooring it. Hey, it, it moves. Second gear. There you go. Big throw. Look at that throw, man. Woo! <laughs> but you know what, though, it stops fine. We're just gonna go straight here. One thing is cool about this car though, the suspension's really solid on it. Like, the uh, it's not very bumpy, like, it's not making a lot of noise. In fact, it feels usually, you know, I mean, I don't care how many miles this thing on a four year old car, you're gonna have worn out bushings. And I, if I go digging, it's gonna have worn out bushings, no doubt. But it's not rattling and bumping. When I first drove my 86 going down the road, it was like. <laughs> And I thought the rear was going to fall out of it. So, that just tells you this car hasn't been written hard. It's also a four-cylinder, so you, people aren't going to just drive it as hard as they will a V8. Drive it like an Indy car. You know, somebody putted this around town, but it runs great. Got a little bit of a smell of a... Let's give it some gas here. 2,000 RPMs. I can't get this thing to rev up past 2,000, really. It's slow, like really slow. <laughs> but I drove this home. When I bought this, I drove it home. I got it up, um, you know, 50 miles an hour, just fine. Look at the bumps, see? Boom. It drives nice. The steering wheel is just straight up dangerous. 
turns though. Hey. Man, look at that. Whoa, whoa, nothing's happening. Uh. <laughs> How you doing over there? You good? All right. Oh my, careful around the turn. Haven't gotten into third yet. That's flooring it. I think I heard a secondary open or something, right? Pretty, pretty hard on the brakes here. Okay. God, that throw. I'm not used to that at all. Something about driving this makes me just feel, I don't know, like a teenage girl from the 70s or something, early 80s. I think it's the red, maybe it's the red. All right, now we're getting a little bouncy back there. <laughs> back end's jumping around a little bit. Still though, no noise. It's solid other than the steering wheel having no rack joint. It's not clunking. Hang on, Bones. We're rolling, buddy. We're gonna get this thing home. Unsafe at any speeds, this is. Almost Corvair style here. Oh, look. Blinker's working. Got some. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> we got rubber. So listen, you could totally just put this around, man. I could fix the steering, make it nice and tight. Inspect it, insure it, register it. And uh, this would be a fine little car. Get around town and I get my wife, she can go to work and there's no problem. But that's not what we're going to do. You want some tunes here? Here we go. Torture. Okay, or not down on that. That type of thing. So like the movie Saw. Which I actually think Saw. I can deal with that. The original Saw movie. Third that gear. I actually like. Yeah. And then uh -huh. I moved on to the theater and seeing Saw 2. And there's a scene. And this is about the same time all the final Something destinations clunk. are coming out. Yeah. I've never saw. Hit 40 miles an hour back there. I wish the gas gauge worked though. I know I put gas in it. So it's not going to run out. But. Man, the steering's scary though. That's freaking scary. This guy's booking it. It's got a little bit of a rat, like a rat pee smell to it, you know? Uh, gotta get rid of that, replace the carpet, fix the uh, blower motor, but yeah, there you go, man. How, what do you think? It's quiet. Another thing I noticed, and I wish I could have shown you this and I didn't, but when I drove it home, I was, uh, you know, it, it was actually cold. It was really cold and it was getting kind of misty and stuff. And I drove it home uh, with the windows up. I hear wheel cylinder rolling. Uh, I rolled, rolled the windows up in this, the uh, wind noise is almost non-existent. It was great. The wind noise is much better than my 86 T-tops. So it is a lot quieter, I think. All right, there you go. Runs and drives like a fox buddy, except slow and sloppy steering. Otherwise, feels like a fox. The uh, comparative difference to the 86 is pretty huge. The biggest uh, comparison I could really compare it to would just be stiff versus sloppy. This is a you know a tiny short throw shifter, very tight steering. Uh, the clutch is extremely tight, so a little bit more fun experience to drive, <laughs> but it'll get there. It's a project. 
All right, that's it, guys. Hey, make sure to like and subscribe. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys dig the new project. We got more stuff coming. We're going to do some actual work on it. But uh, stay tuned for more content. We got the TKO to put in, and we got some work to do on the side nine to get it coyote ready. Coyote ready. Yeah, man. So follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like, and all that crap. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.